Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the. Ooh, credit to the Empress! Around the. And uh, the Four of Swords. Anyhow, what is the date anyway? 12th, right around the 12th. So, right around the 12th. Keep in mind, the timing is fluid, all right? Timing is fluid. You never know when things are going to happen now, do you? I mean, the Empress gives birth to a new life at just the right time, all right? So, anyhow, timing is fluid. It comes when it comes. Anyhow, um, Four of Swords is the end of a situation. It is. Uh, looks like we have somebody here that is has been praying. Somebody has been praying. Maybe they've been, you know, on their deathbed or they've been sick or they've been taking a break or they've been healing from something or putting a lot of faith in God, you know, really, really praying for something. Maybe they've been praying for some tender, loving care, you know, or they've been praying for better health. They're praying for a new life or something like that. The Empress, Empress gives birth to a new life. Okay, she's a mother. She takes care of everything. She does everything with love. So we do have, I mean, she's obviously, she's looking really good too. Um, she is. It's harvest time. It's time. It is time. I feel like something is coming to an end. There's been suffering, but I feel like the suffering is just about over. Right? It's time. It's time for that baby. It's time for that miracle. It's time for that blessing. She's about to receive a blessing. Just waiting. Just waiting. This empress just waiting. She's just waiting. She's just waiting for her blessing. She has been waiting too. Praying. Oh, the cards. It's interesting. These are still in my hands. Some cards just fell down. And they, this whole pile fell. I don't even know what it is. It's upright. It is the Knight of Pentacles. Well, take a look at that. That is a blessing. So that is a blessing. Slow and steady wins the race, right? This is whatever is coming is real. It's solid. It's stable. It's something you can hold on to. This is a hard worker. Somebody's about to receive something, okay? Look at that. Look what I got for you. Look what I got for you. So we got this. Empress is still on the bottom. Whatever. Okay, so the Empress is about to receive something. What could it be? <coughs> An offer of some sort. <coughs> Sorry. I still haven't smoked, by the way. Two weeks. Um... Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Look what I got. Look what I got for you. That's what I got from this card. Look, I got something for you. <laughs> okay, let's shuffle. So somebody's about to receive something. It's a golden opportunity. It is an opportunity. They're receiving it from somebody that is a planner. This person is a hard worker. They have... Uh, achieved some sort of success already. This is somebody that has some sort of skills. This is an opportunity to lay a, some sort of foundation. I also feel like we have hard work that is paying off. My nose is itching. Maybe I'm going to kiss a fool. I don't know. Anyhow, somebody's hard work is paying off. Perseverance. Because the Empress has to wait. Okay, she has to wait for the right time to receive her blessing. That Ace of Pentacles and that Knight of Pentacles hands, that is a blessing, okay? It's something you can hold on to. It's something real. It's a new investment. Somebody's about to, to get a proposal of some sort or an offer that they've been waiting for. Or it's a gift or it's a blessing or whatever. Ah, Ace of Swords. So this is clarity. It is communication. It is the truth. 
Okay, it's the power. This is a new idea, taking a new approach. So somebody's going to be, maybe they're going through an awakening. This is a wake-up call of some sort. Receiving some sort of information or some communication or something like that. King of Swords. Looks like he's getting ready. This guy is getting ready. He's getting ready to say something or do something. He's getting ready. Somebody is getting ready to do something. They've thought about it. Now they're about ready to take charge. Or everybody to take about ready to take control. So this is like interesting. Goes well, from the Ace of Swords to the King of Swords. He's taking his sword out. Okay, he's. He's getting ready. This guy is getting ready to do something. He's thought about it. He's done his investigation. He's come to the conclusion. You know, he knows what he, what he wants. There's going to be a conversation. Somebody's going to be having a very truthful conversation. Um, this person is about ready to do something. I don't know. I mean, this could be somebody. I don't know. This is somebody that it could be in a legal position or just in an authoritative position. This is a masculine energy taking control. Taking con somebody's about to take control of a situation. They're making a decision. They they are. There's there's, there's going to be a conversation. Okay. Six of Cups reversed. Now, the Six of Cups reversed, it may have something to do with children, may have something to do with the home. This could be packing up and leaving home, leaving the past behind. Nothing stays the same. Okay, this is, uh, nothing stays the same. I mean, there's been some sort of loss. Obviously, Five of Cups is before that. There's been some sort of loss. Somebody's been focusing on a loss, uh, missing an opportunity. This is like leaving the past behind. Uh, has something to do with the family or children or the home. Making a decision, an informed decision. Decision is being, it's definitely coming out. Okay, somebody's about to speak up. They're about to say something. It has to do with... I like it's one more card. Six of Cups reverses letting go. I think it's like, I mean, it's like packing up, leaving home. Somebody has may have been in denial because they were clinging to the memories. They were clinging to the memories that they had with somebody. But I feel like this is severing ties. That is a sword that severs ties with the past. Okay, because the Six of Cups is the past, but it's in reverse. It's like letting go of the past, severing ties. Somebody's severing ties, I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. It feels like ties are gonna be severed. We could be packing up and leaving home. Um, something about children. I don't know, we could, may even have a judge here. I don't know if we have some, so, some sort of neglect or somebody's just seeing the truth. There's been some sort of neglect. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about protection. It is opposition. It's fighting for something. Okay, somebody's going to be putting up a fight. Okay, this is like prepared. We have somebody here that is prepared. They are, are fearless. This is a stiff com competitor that has no fear, that is prepared to fight. They want to be in this position. They want the position and they do not intend on giving it up. Um, there's some, there could even be protection here, protective services or protector. We may have a protector here, something to do with, uh, protecting somebody. Somebody is going to be, there's like protection. There's some sort of protection. Maybe we have somebody here. If you think about the Empress with that four of swords, I, he was praying, been praying for protection, something to do with children as well. Seven of Swords. Eight of Pentacles reverse next to that. Did I say Seven of Swords? I meant to say Seven of Wands. I do that a lot. Um, 
Seven of Wands. <laughs> Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Reverse. That's giving up, giving up. It's not putting in much effort. Somebody is uh, not willing. They're not, it's like, it feels like they're standing their ground in a situation. I feel like we have somebody here that really knows the truth. They, they know the truth. They see the truth. There's been some sort of... I don't know. Six of Cups, Reverse, Neglect. I feel like there's been some sort of neglect. Challenge, challenge. Somebody's going to be stepping up. It's like maybe even protecting themselves. You know, I got to, I got to protect myself. I got to protect. There could be a fight where somebody decides to protect. Maybe they decide to protect themselves. They decide to fight for what they believe in. They decide to, to protect themselves. They may be dealing with somebody who has selective memory, you know. That isn't putting in much effort and picks fights with them, you know. Mm. Truth is going to be revealed. You may not remember it, but this is the truth. You know, this is standing. Somebody's going to be put, caught off guard. They're going to be challenged. It's like the truth is going to be challenged, and, there's, and it's like standing your ground. Yeah, that's the truth, and I'm not backing down from the truth. You know, that kind of thing. I do believe we have somebody here that's going to be caught off guard. The Eight, of, the Eight of Pentacles is something that's not working out. We have somebody here that may be picking, picking a fight or putting up a fight because whatever it is that they are forgetting, you know, selectively forgetting, it's not working out for them. So it's hard to explain. Mm. I just looked on the bottom. We got the Ten of Swords. Yes, somebody here. I do believe we have somebody here that is, I don't know if they're hurting another person. Uh, there's been some sort of suffering. There has. But it looks like, I don't know, it feels like these swords are coming out. It feels like somebody's, it's like it's over. Something is definitely over with the Ten of Swords. This is the end. This is the end of suffering. It is the end. If somebody has been suffering, it's coming to an end. There's been some sort of battle, that, or there's going to be a battle, okay, with the Seven of Wands. We have somebody here that is getting ready. They are get, Maybe they're getting ready to fight, or they're going to be fighting. Uh, and I think it's over the truth. It's over the facts, you know, over, you know, some sort of truth, because it starts with the truth. Okay, which causes a fight. Some people don't want to accept the truth, okay, especially if they're stuck in the past or they have selective memory or whatever, you know. You may have, somebody's going to be defending their position. They're going to be defending themselves. I feel like they're going to be defending themselves against somebody that isn't really putting in much effort. This person, um, it's not working out with this person anyway. There could be some memories or some something with this person, but it doesn't appear to be working out. I mean, that Eight of Pentacles reverse is is like it's, somebody's not trying hard enough. They hmm. they're not putting in much effort to change things. Nine of Wands reverse. We have somebody here that is very competitive. That. is facing some challenges but trying to avoid challenge it's like there's challenges here there there is challenges with the seven of wands but the nine of wands reverse is not wanting to deal with the challenge so it's like you need to fight for yourself you're going somebody's definitely going to be challenged they are going to be challenged they're going to be put on the spot yeah, they're going to be put on the spot. Somebody's going to be put on the spot. And it's not going to be comfortable. It is not going to be comfortable. The words may, may come out. What are you doing? Or who are you working with? Or, or this isn't working out. This isn't working out. There's challenge has been avoided. It has been avoided up until now. But now the challenge is 
come back around. You're going to be challenged. You're going to, this is a need to defend, a need to defend. Be prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared to defend. Defend yourself. Hmm. We have somebody here that has been hurt really, 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 really badly as well with the Nine of Wands reverse. That's extremely hurt, distrustful. There may be somebody here that is uh, trying to protect them, that wants to protect them, but they're being pushed away. There's some sort of great personal fear here. It's interesting because I saw no fear and then I see with the Nine of Wands reverse, that's great personal fear of getting hurt again, not putting in effort, protecting oneself. Somebody has been protecting themselves because of the past. A challenge is coming, okay? You're gonna be, you're gonna need to uh, be prepared. You're gonna be caught off guard, okay? You're gonna be caught off guard. Oh my goodness gracious. Knight of Wands reversed. So the Knight of Wands reversed is something happening very, 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 very fast. from obligation, doing something crazy, doing something crazy, doing something sudden, extremely sudden, hasty, 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 hasty. Ooh, what do you think it is? The lovers, unexpected choice, right? This is, a, this is a card of connection. It's a card of love. It's a card of passion, right? Deepening a bond, sexual connection, unexpected, perfect union, major choice, a major choice. Somebody is making a choice. They are making a choice, a definite decision. There's been some sort of delay, but things are about to change really, 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 really fast. I mean, that angel is, is, is bringing these two people together or has brought these two people together in a union for a reason. But that Six of Cups reversed is like somebody has been clinging to the past. Nothing stays the same. It's time to give up, open up, open up, open up. Because that is about opening up. Open up, open up. It's time to open up. Maybe somebody has to let their guard down. Let their guard down. Open up. Five of Cups on the bottom. Five of Cups is grieving, right? Somebody's been grieving. But there's a need for change. Fives represent change. It's time to stop focusing on the past. It's time to stop focusing on the loss. Realizing the truth about some sort of connection you know, somebody is realizing the truth about a connection. It goes the Ace of Swords, the King of Swords, below the King of Swords is the Lover's card. Lover's card is a connection. It's an attraction. It's, it's a perfect match. So somebody is really realizing the truth about a connection. There's been some sort of delay, but things are about to change really, really fast. Nothing stays the same. Accepting a challenge after somebody has been avoiding the challenge, not putting in much effort, I feel like we have a very sudden change of some sort. Somebody has been ignoring an opportunity. They've been ignoring an opportunity for the Two of Cups, focusing on something that is emotionally unfulfilling. 
That's where they've been, where there's no unity. I feel like there's gonna be some sort of um, getting together with that lover's card. I do, I feel like there's, cause I feel like these two people are together, you know, and it's, it's very passionate. I see a lot of passion here. I also feel like we may have some gossip. We may have some gossip here. We may have a troublemaker here that is uh, causing a fight between two people. But everything happens for a reason. King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is very solid, very stable, very secure, hardworking. This person has is very wise, you know, has built up their success through hard work and perseverance. We have a very um, comfortable, uh, well, this person's probably financially comfortable. This person is, is, is very probably laid back and low key, um, has a lot to offer. We do have somebody here that is I feel like this person's about to give something to somebody because he's he's like reaching out with his coin. He's reaching out with the offer, the golden opportunity. I feel like we have an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have Gemini and then Libra and Aquarius as well. I don't know if the past, I don't know what the past, the past could be the six, is the six of cups, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it could be any of the other signs as well. We're all here. Everybody is here. Um, somebody is has an opportunity in the in their hand. Okay, this is an opportunity to invest in. This is somebody that is very is, is a strong investor. This is somebody that has worked hard and has earned some sort of respect through hard work. This person, it feels like they have something of value to give to somebody. There's been some sort of delay though, but there is a strong connection here with the lover's card. This is a stable offer. It is a solid offer. The king of pentacles, that's something real. It's something you can take to the bank. I mean, this is something that you can really hold on to. It will grow because this person has proven that their capability, they have proven that they are capable of success. This is like a businessman, a businesswoman, somebody that has skills, that has worked hard their whole life. The King of Pentacles is not a child. This is somebody that is older. You know, it's an older person that has, it's not the Knight of Pentacles anymore. It's not a Page of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is proven success through life experience and skill and hard work. Okay, and, and we did have the Knight of Pentacles, which is somebody's hard work paying off. Somebody may be receiving an advance or they're receiving an offer that they worked hard for, they prayed for. Remember we saw that praying at the beginning? This is what you prayed for. It may have to do with an Empress, which is a Taurus or a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. The Empress is somebody who is very abundant, okay? She's the, she's the goddess of love, right? Or Aphrodite or whatever you want to call it. She does everything with love. She's abundant. Everybody wants wants to help the empress. They flock to the empress. She does everything with love. She, she doesn't really need for anything. She, she creates. She's a creator. She can create anything. She can grow anything. She's glowing. She has multiple options. Um, and she, well, she was, she, she's been praying and somebody may have been praying for this, praying for that empress. I don't know. Well, anyhow, we have somebody here that is about Maybe this King of Pentacles is about to give something to somebody, it looks like to me. It looks like he's about to give something to somebody, and it could be a male or a female. This is somebody that is about to give something solid, okay? This is something you can take to the bank and hold on to for a long time, okay? It's something real, okay? It's something real. Um, but the Empress gives birth to a new life, okay? It's time, it's time for a birth, it's time for a blessing, it's time for you, all the hard work of cultivating, you know, that you, you've had to suffer from, you, but it's the end of suffering. With that, with that 10 of uh, swords, that is the end of suffering. The end, the end, the end of suffering. Get prepared, you're gonna be caught off guard. You are, you're gonna be caught off guard.
somebody that wasn't putting in much effort is about to give, they're about to give, or they're about to take an opportunity. They're about to do something. There's also been some neglect here. We have somebody here that has been neglected. They've been neglected with equality. They haven't been, tr been treated equally in a partnership with that lovers kind of lovers is about kindred spirit, shared values, two people that uh, see eye to eye. There's some sort of sexual connection. There's a love connection here. There's equality. So this is, this is the, the lovers is not the past. Okay. We got the past in reverse. The lovers is not the one that's not reciprocating. Okay. That's, that's the separation. Okay. So for those of you that are in illusion that think that your ex is, is coming back and they're going to be your lover. That is not what I see here. It's not. Six of Cups is reversed. Those of you that have cling, been clinging to the past, it's time to wake up. There's another opportunity here that is real, that is solid, that is more aligned with the lover's card. It's time to stop crying over the past. You've been missing an opportunity. I can't beat a dead horse. I'm not in the mood today. But... For those of you that are ready, that have accepted the truth, there is somebody here that is about to do something. There is a connection. This person may have been fearful, okay, of really stepping it up to the next level. I do believe that things are about to step up to the next level. I also feel like there could be a separation here. I gotta be honest with you, with the Knight of Wands reversed and the Six of Cups reversed, that's leaving the past behind. Okay, packing up, leaving home, going towards a soulmate. Headed right towards a soulmate. The Lovers is a soulmate card. A soulmate that is real, not illusion. So yeah, expect the unexpected because of that lover's card. That's an unexpected, I feel like it's an arrival. Knight of Wands reverse is right next to it. It's very fast, okay? Something happening fast, extremely fast. Maybe somebody was in their ego. You know, they were in their ego or they were just very scared or they were working too much. They were too busy because of that work card, the Eight of Pentacles. You know, they were too busy. But anyway, things are about to change. You're going to be caught off guard. This is not somebody that you had a relationship with in the past. The Six of Cups is reversed. It's not. Somebody's also going to receive some news about a partnership. It may have to do with a union. Somebody could be leaving suddenly if it's not you. Leave packing up and leaving home. There could definitely be a separation here. You may have somebody here that's deciding to go their own way. I mean, there could be a fight, you know, where somebody just decides to give up. Okay, if the, if the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Wands reversed, and then the Eight of Pentacles reversed. That's somebody that decides to give up. I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. And feels like they're headed towards a soulmate. Good luck. 